Masters of nightlife, too. That is a yes. Disrespect our elder? Ooh. Oh, you mean... Oh, I see, I see. Sorry, my mistake. Apparently you are here by invitation. In which case, it's my job to make you feel welcome. Some introductions are in order. I am Kaholam, one of the priests of our tribe. And this is our Iktomisor Elder, the great Tlapokpoktitztetl, a living totem among the masters of the night wind. Whoa, that's quite a tongue twister. In truth, we usually go with Elder Tlapo for short. You're welcome to do the same. Ah! I assume you're referring to our Elder's special ability. Elder Tlapo has been alive for many centuries and harbor secrets that even we priests are at a loss to explain. So your reaction is entirely natural. But one thing I can say for sure is that Elder Tlapo has appointed the two of you to an extremely important task. For this reason, I would like to ask you to undergo a test. What sort of task? And what kind of test? If it's all right with you, I'll take you to see our chief. He's in a much better position to answer your questions. Um, okay. Very well. Then please follow me. You can use this scroll to go directly to the obsidian altar, where the chief is. Don't worry, it's just one of the many mystical abilities of our tribe. You can use this scroll. Don't worry. One of the routine duties of a priest. We attempt to contact the spirits of our ancestors to seek epiphanies and revelations. The chief is just over there. Please wait here while I have a word with him. I'll jump. Well, the masters of the night wind are definitely living up to their reputation as the mysterious ones.
All right. I've told the chief why we're here, and now you may speak with him. So, you two are the appointed ones. <laughs> I am Chief Biram. Welcome, and uh, thank you for your patience. So tall. <laughs> Unusually so. Uh, yes, I am aware. But I assure you, it's no cause for alarm. Oh, no, of course not. Sorry, Paimon just reacted without thinking. Ah, yes. Uh, Kaholam told me about that. As outsiders to our tribe, this is probably the first you've heard of such appointments. <laughs> I'm sure the whole thing seems very confusing. Throughout our history, only members of the Masters of the Nightwind have been appointed to undertake these tasks. This is the first time an outsider has ever been ch- Really? Allow me to explain. Our tribe has an old tradition of recording history in the form of woven scroll, and not just our own history. We record the legends and heroic feats of all other tribes as well. It is a tradition we have observed for many centuries. We treat it as a solemn duty. However, when a major event occurs that affects all of Natlan, we record it on a different kind of scroll, used for this exact purpose, and these scrolls can only be woven by someone of the Ictomisaur Elder's choosing. When the Ictomisaur Elder senses a major change in the ley lines, it will issue a formal declaration to appoint a creator for this scroll. Whoa, so you mean... Elder Telapo sensed a ley line change quite some time ago, but had not yet designated the scroll weavers until you arrived. Okay, but just so you're aware, we don't know the first thing about weaving scrolls. As a matter of fact, that does not surprise me at all. How come? In the 200 years that Elder Talapo has held this position, none of the appointed ones have ever been experienced scroll weavers. Does that mean 200 years of major historical events have gone unrecorded? No. They all submitted scrolls in time, yet each of them claimed it was not their own work, but a gift from the spirits. Man, this tribe gets more mysterious by the second. Yes, well, that is the part that troubles me. The notion that we have to rely on esoteric things like gifts from the spirits to record historical events of such great importance. Hmm, it is unsettling. Huh, that's pretty surprising to hear coming from the chief of this tribe. <laughs> I can imagine. Ah, you probably see the Masters of the Night Wind as a people shrouded in mystery, who pride ourselves on our arcane practices. But I am something of an exception. I may be the chief, but when it comes to our traditions, I am in fact a proponent of change and reform. I have dedicated my energies to deciphering the many mysteries of our tribe. In doing so, I hope to establish clearer rules that will help sustain our traditions in the future. Wow, that sounds great! So have you figured out the mystery of the gift from the spirits? Hmm, sadly not. It is something I have been investigating for a long time. But I have yet to uncover what this gift truly refers to. Only a small handful of events over the years have been recorded on these special scrolls, with decades between each one. And by the time the next scroll weaver is appointed, my time as chief will be long gone. I will not be in a position to investigate as thoroughly. So... While I haven't gotten to the bottom of the matter, I have made some progress. But the only way I can develop my theories further is with the cooperation of the appointed ones. Precisely. Ah, it's nothing to be worried about. Simply a means of validating my current hypothesis. That eh, shouldn't take you long nor will it put you in any danger. I can explain everything in detail when we get to the site of the test. But first, please wait a moment while I change out of the soul shielding cloak. This garb is one of our important cultural relics, handed down by generations of chiefs. It is only to be worn when conducting certain ceremonies. Please, follow me. Do 
Do you see this scroll? If you touch it, you will enter a hidden space. Today's test is, quite simply, to find a way to escape that space. That's it? <laughs> I assure you, it's not as easy as it sounds. If you cannot find your own way out, I will of course intervene to bring you back here. But then, we will be no closer to solving this mystery. Good. Simply touch the scroll to begin the test. You may begin whenever you're ready. Teleported. Hmm, it seems like this place is completely sealed off. Doesn't look like there's an exit anywhere. Let's take a look around and see what we can find. woven scrolls here? Paima remembers seeing some of them before in other tribes. They seem to record historical events. This one really stands out from the rest. For starters, it's the biggest of them all. Wonder what story it tells. Yeah, you're right. Over there, something just flashed. Traveler, did you catch that? Oh, right. Paima's with you. We finally made it out! It is just as I thought. You are indeed capable of undertaking this mission. <laughs> yes. 
You saw many distinctive looking scrolls there, didn't you? Sure did. This specific kind of scroll was left to us by our ancestors. Upon investigation, I discovered what sets it apart is the use of a color not featured in ordinary scrolls. It is a most mysterious color that most people cannot even detect. I myself had to employ special techniques to confirm its existence. Yet there are those who are born with a natural ability to perceive it. And that is why I wanted to test you. You mean... That space you just entered was an exhibition room for storing this variety of woven scrolls. Centuries ago, a great shaman by the name of Huitzilin put in place a security measure so that anyone who entered the room without permission will become trapped inside. It exists to this day. And although I have not managed to decipher how it works, I have at least found out how to turn it on and off. Once someone is trapped inside, it is all but impossible for them to escape without outside help. Unless they share the great shaman's ability to perceive that strange color. Hmm. Clearly, you must have this ability. Which leads me to believe that our Iktomisor Elder can sense this ability in people. And that it appoints a scroll weaver on this basis. Another secret power? Traveler, you are full of mysteries. Still, having this ability doesn't change the fact that neither of us know where to start with weaving a scroll. Ah, uh, don't worry about that. The method for weaving this kind of scroll appears to be largely the same as for an ordinary scroll. The main difference is in the dye that gives it its unique color. If my suspicions are correct, this dye is the key to weaving the scroll. And your special ability is the key to obtaining it. The dyeing process is also a little different from the norm, but I don't anticipate any major issues there. As long as you two can source the dye itself, I can assist with the application. Cool! We'll follow your lead! Great! Then please use your abilities to source the necessary ingredients. And in the meantime, I will have someone prepare some fabric for test dyeing. We'll make a few sample pieces to test out my hypothesis. And if that goes well, we can begin the scroll in earnest. If you agree to help, you can expect to be handsomely rewarded once this is all over. So, what are your thoughts? Agreed, especially if there's a reward in it. Um, what is the reward, by the way? Is it food? I would hope it's food. Uh, given the stakes involved for our tribe, I was thinking a substantial sum of mora would be appropriate. <laughs> Surely that would be preferable to just a free meal. A uh, mora works too! <laughs> Anyway, how do we go about finding these ingredients? Are we supposed to just keep walking around Natlan until we stumble across them? Uh, thankfully not. I've already identified a location where I suspect they may be found. And I've arranged for someone to guide you there. Your guide is waiting just outside. You can set off at your leisure. <laughs> <laughs>